All right, guys. My work day is done, finally. It's been a beautiful day out here all day. Been dying to get out here and do some work on the property. Jerry's been out here working on clearing out some brush. I'm gonna get my boots on. We're gonna go check her out. I always look forward to the end of the day here. End of my work day gets me away from the computer and outside where I love to be. <laughs> Especially on beautiful days like this, it's hard to sit still inside knowing that I could be out here doing stuff. All right, let's go see what Jerry's up to. She's been out here clearing quite a bit of this uh, woods back here. We, uh, I had a tractor in here the other day actually and did a lot of bush hogging over by the path. S tried to start clearing this out back here. Jerry's been working to get visibility all the way back to the paddock in the back by the barn. So this is nice and clear out here. It's uh, coming along pretty good. She's been doing a hell of a job getting this cleaned out. What are you doing? <laughs> Hey, beautiful. Nice up here, huh? It's looking really good. The goal is to have it nice and clear up through here, up to the back of the house. Uh, may few cut a few trees out here select cut a few of those but right now we're just working on all the real small saplings and brush and briars cut a, a, a bunch of those good sized ones down yeah yeah i know you've been killing it Yeah, lots of gum trees. And they cut like butter though. <laughs> they sure do. She's been working with her little steel four inch saw there and this still has a Ryobi eight inch saw there as well. But uh, yeah, this is all opening up really good. Let's go check out over here. I'll show you an update on what she's been doing since the last video working up here by the duck pond. Pigs. Pig, pig, pigs. <laughs> pigs have been doing a heck of a job cleaning out their paddocks too. We still gotta get in there and get those down limbs. A little bit of brush clean up, but I wanna get some grass planted back in there and make it start looking good. Look how open this is. This is from the woods area, the path that goes up to the chicken coop here. All that was thick trees and brush up there. Jerry's got it all cleared out. Ethan's out riding around on his bike. Now she's been putting, when she's cleaning up, she's putting piles here of all the debris, the limbs, uh, all the brush. And what I'll do is get the tractor, use the forks and be able to try to scoop under this and bring these to the brush pile. But for right now, they're just strategically placed around the property as she cleans up. This whole side here was all just cleaned up. Look at the duck pond filling up a little bit. What are you guys doing out there? Huh? Liking your pond? <laughs> yeah, this whole side over here is all opened up now. So going up to the barn,
Let's go get this ladder. I think John head down the path here a second ago. <laughs> you guys following him? What's down here, huh? Where'd he go? Where'd he go, Roger? He go this way? <laughs> we have visibility. There's no visibility issues to the barn. Slowly clean all that around. Getting ready for the spring to pressure wash and paint the barn. Then we're gonna paint it white because there's so much uh, heat back here. It's so hot back here in the summertime. We wanna try to deflect as much of that as possible off the barn, keep it as cool as possible in there. But yeah, all this is pretty much cleared out. We just have the brush pile here I'll have to get cleaned up, moved out. We have a couple of sorted logs over there that'll go back. Any burnable log um, or big chunk of wood, we're gonna bring back to the woodshed. And we're gonna, one of these upcoming days here, we're gonna get over there and cut some wood and stack wood. Try to get the wood burner going for this last about two months of winter, cold time here. But man, it's just, the, it's just changing. Everything visually is changing because Jerry's been busting her butt, cleaning the property up and clearing it out. And we want to have grass and flowers and landscaping and just kind of tie everything together here. And uh, that's ultimately what the goal is. Get this all cleaned up so it looks really good for when spring, when everything comes back to life. All the color. Right now everything's so gloomy and dark. <laughs> all right, so I guess while we're up here, um, with the lean-to or the pasture, mobile pasture shelter, we can grab a few more sheets of plywood and see if we cannot or see if we can at least finish wrapping this. I don't know, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We may have just enough plywood to do this, or we might be a little short. So let me, um, I guess I'll have to go back, grab the tools, and then uh, we'll get started. We need to cut at least this last sheet over here, uh, 85 and a half inches. Pretty simple, put it in place, screw it in, and then uh, work our way around the side. All right, let's grab the sheet. Just cut this one 85 and a half. How close are we? Oh man, we are gotta be about two, three inches. Yeah, about two and three quarter. <laughs> we'll have to put a little strip down along the side of this to close this corner in. But uh, before I hold this up, let me get some screws started. Now I'm just gonna set it up on my boot. Use my boot as the lift. Once I get the sides aligned, there we go. Lift it up. get right there okay That'll be good for now. There's a few in this, each row needs to be filled in, but I wanna get the next sheet up here and uh, try to, I only have so many screws, so I wanna try to get at least one more sheet up here. Next one though, we don't have to cut it at all. So I just gotta get those two two by sixes that we used, set them down as the same template as the other side, set the plywood right on it directly and just get it flushed up on the side here and then get it screwed in. And we'll have one little strip here that I'll have to probably cut out, no big deal. Let's go get the uh, two by sixes here. All right, let's grab another sheet here. First, let me get these two by sixes in place.
Yes, right there somewhere. Hmm. I need to get a piece of plywood, thin wood. The ground sets up a lot higher on that side. All right, let's see if we can make this work. That is pretty darn close right there. Let's get this over just a tiny bit, a bit more. Let's see, just out of curiosity before we put the other sheet on there. Just want to see how how level we are here. Plum. Oh. <laughs> we're actually barely off. Maybe a sixteenth off. So we're actually closer on this side than we were that side. It's just not quite as high as the other side. Maybe a half inch well. Yeah, about a half inch or so shorter on here. Now it's not really going to make that big of a difference. The main thing was to close this top gap in up here, and this will be cut chalked at the height of the roof. So it is not going to matter right here. It's going to come all the way over and still overlap up here. So we're good. I'm going to grab another sheet and uh, we'll keep this moving. I've got to get this piece of plywood underneath there first. Give me the proper spacing. All right. Let's get a couple screws started here so we don't have to come back and do that. All right. Right there. And there. All right, how far off are we? Actually, pretty spot on. Good deal. All right. Now, I've got to figure out how much we have to cut here. So for that, we gotta go the seam to now we need to go here to the outside. 25 and three quarter. 25 and three quarter. 25 and three quarter. Yeah. All right. Guess we're gonna have to rip a piece. Uh, 25 and three quarters. That'll fit in here. And then uh, we can move around, start on the front. This is a scrap piece, so we'll put this on the wall here as a starter, but uh, Oh, it's a little boat. We'll have to get it get it going here. All right. First of all, let's get this last piece on here. That was 25 and three quarter. Let's 
see if I made the cut right. That looks proper. Just gotta get some screws started here. Here we go. Let me get a few of this started. Sit back. Look at my front. How did that even happen? You guys all muddy? Well, yeah. It's like muddy, but it's like muddy. Look, turn around. No. Let me see. I'm muddy. Look at that. We need new, we need new like, layers. <laughs> Look at it back. Covered in mud. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> all right, so we got that corner on. I'm just going to put a couple more screws. Like I said, I only have maybe six screws left so I'm gonna go ahead and put one or two in here and then I've got one full sheet of plywood left so I'm gonna put that full sheet up and get the four corners and uh, see what's left from there all right <laughs> this is the ground sheet Spiders. Now, this is why you should probably always wear gloves when you're reaching underneath something on ground level, especially when it's pretty moist under there. Look at that. Yeah, that's a black widow, guys. Couple of them. See the red hourglass on their butts? Stuck my hand underneath there to pull them up, and I hadn't noticed it, so I dropped it. A couple black widows under there. That would have been an ouchie. That's the one that was on ground contact down here though, so. Snakes, spiders, all them things that you don't want to come in contact with usually hide underneath that, so wear gloves. <laughs> all right, well, in that case, I'm gonna use this top layer here. This is the one that I had on top of the whole pile to try to keep it clean. Uh, it's a little dirtier than all the rest, but what? They're all hollering because I haven't went out and put food out yet, so let me get this sheet up real quick so we can go put some food out for these guys. I got this upside down. The sheet was backwards. I need it like, like this. Here, the cows are hollering at Jerry and Mallory as they rode their bikes by. Everyone's mad right now. Well, that'll do for now. Let me get these screws in. is all the screws that we have for this there's a gap here just because it's not screwed in yet it needs to be pulled in all down the middle and the top and we still need to do hand fold them down along here all right guys well we ran out of screws and it looks like we're going to be about three quarters of a sheet of plywood short I mean, I could possibly, I, I don't know that yet. I still gotta go through the scrap pile and we have that one that had the spiders on. I just gotta verify that it's in good condition. If that's the case, then we should be good. And then I like to splice some plywood up around the top, around that two by six, and then another scab piece going down. So we have this corner, the back corner, the five inches or not five inches, two and a half, what was it? Can't remember. Uh, it's like two and a half. So this little scab here, that front corner, and then uh, around uh, along the two by six at the top. But actually, 
if I get more screws, we can get back out here. I do have enough wood looking at it now. I can, don't matter the condition of that piece of plywood. We'll get it put on here and probably have just enough plywood to uh, close us in, but we still need to order the tin for the roof. I haven't got that ordered yet. We'll have to get that done, but now, and here's my idea for the kicker boards. Not this exact design, but uh, two bys can go on here. These two by sixes were the ones we used along the side to hold up the plywood. I just set them in here for now. But I wanna build a kicker board. I'm thinking about maybe two by eights or two by tens, spaced an inch or so, inch and a half up, maybe about, I don't know, three or four foot tall, just around the edges. That way, uh, if the cows get in here and kick it or push, lean on it, it's not pushing the pressure out on the wall to push them out. But it's coming along, guys, chipping away, slow and steady. As I was cleaning up over here, Jerry started doing the chores, so that's why the animals started getting preoccupied. Goats and cows are out eating their nightly sweet feed mix that we put in there, a couple probiotic treats that we include in there to help their di digestive systems right now as their diets are a little off because of lack of grass. <laughs> I mean, they do have hay. We keep them hay. We have the hay feeder in there. We need to get that fluffed up. And then we've got the, which we've been rotating the bag feeder down the line over here so that it, the overflow of the hay that comes out will go on the ground and uh, kind of give the ground a coating. But it looks like Jerry's finishing up by getting some hay right now. I'm gonna put, is that for our inside or? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. I was just gonna check that first because that's what they eat out of. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, pretty muddy. Cleaning. Cleaning. <laughs> See the lighting works in here. Chicken. Yeah, the cows get in there and they can lift that lid up and they'll put their head in there and eat right out of it. Hobbles, you in here? Yeah. There you are. She's roosted up. Red and Dobby eating. I'm sure the babies are out here. I'm well, not really babies anymore, but the younger ones going to chow town. We're coming down to about the last week and a half, two weeks of hay left here. So I've been in contact with a few people in the local area to get some more. And hopefully here in a few days, I can make a trip and get another 30, 40 bales to put up. That'll get us by another month, month and a half or so. Okay. Is that goose egg? Oh. I don't think so. That took a took a beating. That's good. Here. It's one of the goose eggs. Excuse me. We'll just take this and toss it over into their Oh, you're tossing it to the pigs. Yeah. We'll just toss it over in their paddock. Oh. And they'll find that later. It explodes. A nice little treat. I was gonna say. <laughs> Come on, you can grab some hay with me. Look, they're already coming to check the feeder. You beat her tonight. What are you doing, Chuck? What are you doing, Chuck? Patty. I'm also need to get out here with the shovel and dig this down a little bit. We've been kicking our feet to try to get this water to drain out a little bit on this side. Make it less murky, going down to the duck pond. Get your butt out of there, Wayne. Wayne, ah! <laughs> Gotta flick the water on. I had enough time to eat. That was extra, but he is munching. Yeah. Great. Great. There we go. <laughs> had to wet the food so the goats don't go over and eat the geese feed. Wetting it seems to help them, but. All right, are oh, you bringing that all inside? <laughs> there you go. Shove it, shove it. Shove it nice and tight. <laughs> are you filling the other feeder? Huh? Are you filling the purple bag? All right, guys, well, I appreciate everyone following to the end of today's video. Feels good to get a little bit more work done on that shelter. I need to get the tin ordered so we can get the roof done and then get out here once I get some more screws and get the rest of that plywood put on, but almost there. Uh, 
Probably about 80% done. We're getting close. Either way, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button down below. Help us grow out our channel here at Ferco Family Farm. Much appreciated. And share our videos with your friends and family. Just uh, kind of follows us along our journey here as we grow out our, our farm here in Blanche, North Carolina. All right, guys. Well, until next time, we'll see you later.